Welcome back to Before the Lights Lockdown Sessions. Okay, beginning of week two, we're back to no equipment leg session. So, as like just like before, we're going to be doing a warm up, a couple minutes, and then take you through a load of exercises where you don't need equipment. The only thing I've got today is my chair. You can use a, a dining room chair or your sofa, whatever you need, because um, we're just going to do a few exercises with that as well. But other than that, yeah, hope you're enjoying them. Um, get started let's get 30 minutes on our clock over here okay so as I said we're gonna go through a warm-up first we're gonna start that in three two one I want you to lie down on your back first thing I want you to do is grab a knee hug it into your chest ten times Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Good. Switch sides. Should feel a stretch in your hips, in your hamstrings, and then we switch back to the other leg and kick up. Stretch out the back of your hamstrings ten times. Everything we do before we train is always dynamic. We don't hold long stretches. And then switch sides, good job. Okay, then we're going to go hips to the sky. One, two, ten of these. Keeping your rib cage locked in. Don't want you to flare it up like that. Keep it down. And ten, good. And then rotate from side to side. Perfect. Okay, on to all fours. I'm going to do some hip circles to warm up your hips. So I want you to bring your knee in, out, come round, and back through. One. Three, drawing a big circle with your knee. Four, one more this side, then we switch. Five, good, switch sides. Up, out, round, back through. One, two, three, four, five. Loosen up your lower back, gonna sit all the way down into child's pose. And then hips go through, breathe out. One, just a couple of these. And then up onto all fours, and we're just going to do your cat and cow stretch. So you're going to drive it with the pelvis, arch your lower back, push your arms up, stretch out your lower back, and through. And again. Last one. And three. Okay, then we're going to stay down here into like a side plank position. So we're going to warm up our glutes so that they're ready. I want you to go up onto your hand, have your other hand in front. I just want you to lift that leg up as high as you feel comfortable for 12 reps. If you find it really hard, you can do it with a bent leg like this. And if you're in this position uncomfortable, you can drop down onto the elbow as well. And 12, good. Switch sides. Two more. Okay, now we're warm. Let's get 
properly started. So the first thing we're going to do is seesaw lunging. So we're first going to do it front to back and then we're going to do it side to side. So I'll show you from the side. Left foot's my stance foot. I'm going to step forward with the right foot and then go all the way through and back. Okay? So we're going to do that for 30 seconds. Starting in three, two, one. Nice and slow and controlled. You will lose your balance, but just take your time with it. Ten more seconds. We're going to stri switch straight into the other leg. So be ready. Five, four, three, two, and one. Other leg. Forward, through. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Okay, so next exercise we're gonna do is the same seesaw effect. So one leg is stance, one leg is moving. We're gonna do it side to side. So we're gonna go out to the side and then all the way through and under to here. Out to the side, through, under. 10 more seconds and we're gonna do that. So our left leg's our stance leg, out with the right. Three, two, one. Keeping everything square, forward. Good, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, we're gonna go straight in, two, one, other leg, out to the side, and under. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Good job. Give yourself a break, grab some water. We're gonna do that one again. In 30 seconds time, we're gonna do one more of each of those. Okay, 10 seconds. Left leg's your stance leg. Three, two, one. Five seconds and we switch straight into it. Two and one. Other leg. Good job. Good, last eight. Six, five, three, two, and one. Good job. 30 seconds rest, then we go side to sides again. Fifteen more seconds. Grab some water. Ten seconds. Feet together, left leg your stance leg, right leg going out. Three, two, one, down and across. Ten. 
10 more seconds here. Remember, we'll go straight into the other leg. Four, three, two, and one. Out to the side. And under. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna spend a minute doing some stretchy stuff again. Take a seat on your chair, cross one leg over the other, hand on the knee, lift your chest, stretching out your glutes. And we're gonna push and relax. Push and relax. And then switch sides, good job. Lift the chest, arch the lower back, push, relax. Perfect, okay. So next part of the session we're gonna do from the chair. So first thing we're gonna do is a single leg get up. So it's like a single leg squat, but you're off a chair. And then we're going to do a Bulgarian split squat with our foot back on the chair. So all I want you to think about, drive down through the heel, opposite foot out, lean forward, drive up. Okay, if you struggle with a chair this low, get something slightly higher. So foot out, drive up. We're going to do it for 10 reps each side. When you're ready, okay, we're going three, two, one, up, one. Slowly down, controlled on the way down. Watch this knee. Two. Don't let the knee drop in. Three. Good. Touch down if you lose your balance. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine, 10, good. If you really struggle with that, just go normal basic squats to the chair. We're gonna switch legs. Same thing on the other side. Core switched on, lean forward, drive up. One, touch the floor if you lose your balance, find it again, go down again. Good, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten, good job, have a rest there, your legs should be burning a little bit, that's normal, the next one, you have your foot up behind, you can drop your knee down to the floor, don't touch the floor, and drive up. Okay, right leg on the chair, left leg in the stance, go. One, two, three, go for 10 reps again. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. Five seconds, four, three, two, and go. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one. And 10, good job, rest there. Great thing to use your chair for now is to do a quad stretch, obviously keeping it dynamic. Push in and out for your whole minute's rest. You'll be 30 seconds each side. Grab your water if you need to.
Okay, switch sides. <laughs> and the other side. Okay. We're going back into one more round of each of those. So if you really struggled last time, go on a higher chair or just do normal squats. Both feet, that's fine. Five seconds. Right leg goes first. On three, two, one, go. Two, find your balance, go again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more, nine, last one, 10, good job, take it out, get ready for the other leg, okay, left leg, go, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job, guys. Ready to go for the last set of the Bulgarian split squats for all. Three, two, and go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten seconds. Five. Two, and one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice. Catch your breath, grab some water. Thirty more seconds rest. Let's go down to the floor and get ready. Okay, so we're going to work on our hamstrings and our glutes a little bit now. So the first thing I want you to do is hamstring walkouts, and this is go as far as you feel comfortable here. You drive up and you walk your feet away from your body, and then you walk them back in again. Okay, hips up, weight in your heels, little steps out, right, left, left. All the way out. Now if you can, go all the way out to here. Bum still off the ground. And then walk it slowly back in again. If you feel like it's too much hard work when you get to here or even closer, that's fine. You just go back from wherever you feel comfortable. Walking out, walking out, walking out. And back in again. Keeping your bum off the ground the whole time. That's two down. We've got two to go. Back in, well done. One more, keep those hips up, go. Little steps all the way out, good, and all the way back in again. Well done, rest there. Okay, the next thing we're doing is a single leg glute bridge. So, one foot on the floor, one leg in the air, keep the knee bent, that's fine. You can even cross the leg over to the other one if you want. And what you're going to do is you're going to drive your hips to the sky, slowly back down. 
Okay, we're going to start in five seconds. Three, two, one. Drive up and down. Slow and controlled. One, two. Now we're just doing it for 30 seconds, so go at your own pace. If you find it really difficult, just have longer breaks in between each one. Up and down. Nice. Over halfway. Keep going. Last one. And down. Switch sides straight away. Go in. Go. Over halfway, keep working. Eight seconds. Two and one. Rest there, well done. Stretch out your glutes a different way. You can sit up, cross the body, pull in or hug into your chest like so. And switch. I'm going to do those two again. Three, two, and one. Hips up. Slowly walk it out. Good. And back in. Keeping your hips off the ground the whole time. That's one. Here we go again. Out. All the way out, all the way out, hold, back in. That's two, two more. Use your core, use your glutes, help yourself out. Hamstrings doing a lot of the work, slowly back in. Last one, out we go. Hamstrings pulling in, stopping you from collapsing down. Good, bums off the ground. Slowly back in. Nice work. Okay. Straight into the hip bridge. There we go. One leg in the air and go. One. Nice and slow and controlled for 30 seconds. Ten more seconds. Good job. Two and one. Straight over. Let's go. Drive it up. One. Last five seconds. Three two, and one. Rest there. Well done. Take your soles of your feet together. Let your knees relax down. Feel a stretch to the inside of your legs. Just hold that for me. Good job. You're going to keep going while I explain the next exercise. Okay, you've got another 30 seconds on that stretch. Okay, so we're still working on our lower body strength, but we're going to add some mobility into it as well. So you're going to keep that stretch on for another 20 seconds. When you stand up, we're going to go into this nice wide stance, down into a deep side lunge, all the way up, switch sides, deep side lunge, all the way up. Then at the top, engage your core. We're going to lean forward with nice straight legs as far as you feel comfortable, and then slowly back up. Okay, so if you get up, and get ready. So your feet, we're not going down into full splits, but we're going pretty wide. Okay, so first thing you want you to do is go over your right leg, aiming for your bum to go over your right heel. Keeping your left leg dead straight, sit all the way down. Come all the way up. And then we're going to go the other way. All the way down. All the way up. Okay, now legs locked straight. 
Core switched on, stick your butt out, keep your back straight, go as far as you feel comfortable. So you feel a big stretch down your hamstrings, and then slowly up. Squeeze the glutes at the top, then we go the other way. One. Two, and then down again. Slowly down, stretch, slowly up. Here we go again, right leg. Left leg. Down and up. And again. Down and up. And again. Down and up. Last time. Down and up. Very good, okay. Next one we're gonna do is go back to our curtsy lunge. We're just gonna do only one way, 15 times. Try and keep your hips and your shoulders square to where you're facing. Take the leg under, keep your hips square, drive the knee down to the floor, and then back up. Touch the floor over here, go straight back down again, okay? I'm gonna start in 10 seconds. In 30 seconds one way, 30 seconds the other. Okay, feet split, left leg's a stance leg, down, everything square, touch. Two, three, four, five. Good job. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, and one. Switch legs, go. <laughs> Over halfway, keep working. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna finish on the floor. One more exercise and then some stretching. So to finish off our glutes, we're gonna do glute bridges. We're gonna change the angle of our knees and our feet to change the different part of your glute that you're working. So first one we're gonna do is like a triangle. Your feet are wide, your knees are together. Knees together, feet wide. Keep your feet facing straight though the whole time. Okay, so in two, one, hips up like that. It's gonna feel weird at first. Try not to open up that rib cage again. Try and keep it nice and locked in. Then for 30 seconds of this. Squeeze the glutes. Try not to overactivate the lower back. Last 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Then we do the opposite. So feet are flat on the floor. I don't want them to turn in so that your soles are facing each other. Feet are still flat, but they're together. And this time your knees are out. They're gonna wanna come in, but you gotta try and keep them out. We're gonna go in two, one, go. Again, rib cage down. Try and use your glutes, not your lower back. Keeping those knees out. Good, halfway. Last five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Good, rest. Okay, the last one we're gonna do is your normal glute bridge. Just gonna stick our toes up, so it likes our hamstrings as well as our glutes. You're gonna start in five seconds. Three, two, and one, drive up. Squeeze slowly down. Don't lift your rib cage, keep it down. Engage your core, engage your glutes. Good, glutes might be burning now, that's completely normal. Good, last 10 seconds.
and rest. Good job. Okay, spend the last 30 seconds. We're going to go into a pigeon pose. So, knee across the body, legs almost flat, hip is on the heel here, elbows to the floor, and just sit. You should feel that stretch in your glutes. Hold that for me. Good, we'll go to the end of time. Okay, that's 30 minutes, good job. We're just gonna do a 30 second stretch on the other side and we are done. Hold that stretch for me. Good job, last 15 seconds, well done. And rest. Hold well on, guys. So that is our day one of week two. I hope you can keep in touch with us for the whole of this lockdown and do all four weeks. Well done for doing week one. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.